Hello, in this video, we will see how to solve the LPP problem or the linear programming problem for player A. If you look at the previous video, we have made the linear programming problem. What we want to do is in player B situation, we were maximizing. In player A situation, we have to minimize x1 plus x2 plus x3. And these are the constraints. So you should make a file that looks like this. We are trying to predict x1, x2, x3, and these values are coming from the coefficients of the constraints. So 6, 4, and 1. 6, 4, and 1 come from the first inequality. And remember, the difference here in this case is it's bigger than or equal to. When we were solving for player B, it was less than or equal to. Okay. Similarly, minus 1, 0, 7 is minus 1, 0, and 7, 5, negative 4, 10, 5, negative 4, 10, and this is x1, x2, x3. Similarly, for the problem, we have to use some product here. It will be this row fix, comma, this row. Close, enter. And check this down. You will see that this is a sum product of this and that, which is making inequality two. This is inequality one, inequality two, and inequality three. This is the cell we have to minimize in this case, if you remember. Some product of this. We can just copy and paste it as well, same way. We can just do this as well. Okay, once you have made the formulas, you go to data, solver. Okay, I'm just going to reset all because we just solved the problem. Okay, now what do we want to do? And when we are solving for player A, we want to minimize which cell? This cell here. In player B, we maximize. In player A, we minimize by changing these cells. And the constraints in this case is these three guys should not be less than or equal to. It should be bigger than or equal to now, these three guys. And click OK. Similarly, make sure this is selected and we are using the simplex LP. So make sure you select the simplex. And then all you have to do is solve. So let's see. If you want the answers as a report, you can get it and do OK. OK, so we get the value of x1 to be 0.1395, value of x3 to be 0.16279. OK, and x2 is 0. Okay, and this was the value of v. Remember, if you do one over that, that should give you the value of V, which we saw in the problem was forty three over thirteen from another video. Take a look at the solution for this. It turns out to be equal. So make a note value of v will remain the same. Now remember our aim was to find p1, p2, p3. So you take this x1, x2, x3 back to the problem and solve for p1, p2, p3, just like we solved for q1, q2, and q3. And then you will have the complete solution to that problem. OK, I hope this helped. If any questions, you can put it below and just see all the three videos together and then it'll make a bit more sense.